hey, we made it to North Carolina. So did the windmill. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the space here over the next little while, just so you can see where we landed. This is our amazing front of our house. It's a nice ranch house, uh, all one level so we can age out in it. Don't have to climb stairs a lot, that's good. And this whole adventure started apparently about 10 years ago when I said to some friends of mine, as soon as my mom passed away, I was out of here. And I had forgotten that. And when COVID came and we put everything online, Heidi and I decided that it was time to maybe make a move. So we went out on an adventure, started this adventure. It was less than a year from finding Asheville to moving in here. And I'm gonna show you videos over the course of the next six months to a year on how this place developed. So right now today, I'm gonna show you around the property. So let's go. Welcome to the new yet unnamed urban farm in Asheville. We've been here three weeks as of today. The property starts at the mailbox right here and goes along this road down about 300 feet, almost to the house that you see the roof of there. And this is our front yard. I envision this whole area at some point being covered with probably apple trees, but some kind of fruit for sure. You know how my brain works, it's just what makes sense. And this is an epic tree. We got some epic trees on this property. In fact, when I first arrived, I took a picture out of the front door and three weeks later, Yesterday, I took another picture and all of these trees three weeks ago didn't have any leaves on them. And we could see the mountains on the other side of them. And now it's solidly dense, which is really cool. I'm just gonna wander here. And actually, let's go down underneath. That's a little shed next to the driveway. You know, one of the things I've noticed is stuff like this. It just blooms. It's just like there's stuff blooming everywhere. It is so amazing and so different from Phoenix, that's for sure. So this is a really cool thing. We have an underground garage. And really the cool thing is, is that it's a Northern exposure. So this will never be in the sun. And when you go in there, it's nice and cool. So I'm kind of thinking that it's gonna be a root cellar, a built-in root cellar for us, but who knows? One of the things that I've found growing all over the property are berry bushes, it's just like wild berry bushes growing. Like, what's that about? Isn't that cool? You know, Quinn talks a lot about, Daniel Quinn talks a lot about food used to be free, used to just grow everywhere. And uh, I'm having a better experience of that here than I ever did in Phoenix. Although there were a lot of desert edibles that we could eat in Phoenix. This is some kind of berry. I will uh, shoot a video in 30 or 45 days and we'll see if we can figure out what kind they are. Pretty cool, huh? So this is coming up, I'm walking up the back side of the house, uh, the north side of the house. And This is the only stairs on the property, by the way. We have the, uh, it's a ranch style house. So it's all one floor, which is what we were looking for. We get to hear that all day, every day. Different kind of birds. That's so cool. All right, this is uh, our backyard. 
If you saw the video on the Insta fence, this is my temporary fence. I needed a fence for the mutt, kismut, to make sure that she'd stay in and not chase possums. One of the curious things about this property is we're about patio level right now. And, oh, check it out. That's a hawk of some kind. We see the most amazing things here. Nice. So back to what I was saying, there was my, there's my Insta garden and the, you know, the tomatoes are like twice the size they were a week ago. It's amazing. You can almost watch them grow. So we're about the same level as the back patio right now. And I'm guessing this is about a 25 foot elevation change to the top of the property of the backyard. This is a curious property in that it actually goes way back here as well. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But here's more of the front yard, more of where I'm thinking about putting the apple orchard. Uh, I've dreamed about putting a tiny home here in this area right here for visitors, and maybe a woofer or two. Um, Our property goes all the way down the hill. It's really quite cool. And uh, that might be another place for a tiny home. And that platform farther down might be a place for two or three tiny homes. We can actually put seven on the lot here if we would. were so motivated. I don't think I will, but... So standing, standing up here at the top of the knoll in our backyard, let me give you a 360 degree. The back of the house, there's our front yard out there. nice forest back there. They do have some new builds down this street here. We've met several of the neighbors, pretty cool people. There's those birds again. There you have it. And there's Miss Heidi. She's also filming today. All right, there you go. There is your first stab at our new home in Asheville, North Carolina. Pay attention for more, I got plenty coming.